Hey, greetings from Texas. Okay, my Tour of Honor swag got here. Now the Tour of Honor ride, a ride to remember, is a ride for all levels of motorcyclists, motorcycling enthusiasts. It is a self-directed ride. It is different from any other type of honor ride out there. So each year, beginning April 1st at midnight, there are seven sites in each state. They vary every year. And um, you ride to these locations. You can do them all at once if you're a competitor. If you are the first to finish your state, you can vie for a trophy. You can do them one at a time. You could visit a couple. You could do any other state you want. There is an entry fee, and I'll have a link down in the description box, or you can just Google Tour of Honor and um, sign up. Now, the ride is to honor those who have served or are serving, including first responders. The sites are usually memorials. They could be museums, military museums, military first responder memorials located throughout your home state. Um, when you visit one of these, you have to take a photograph of your uh, flag and motorcycle, if possible, in the photograph. And um, once you're done, you turn those all in. And you will receive a certificate of completion with your entry fee. A portion of that is donated to one of our sponsored charities. You'll get some business cards, the rules, an embroidered patch, and a decal, along with a flag that you can keep. Um, you can take a co-writer if they want to participate. There's a fee for them. Otherwise, there's no uh, limitations. And um, this includes three-wheeled motorcycles and four-wheeled motorcycles, including Can-Ams. Um, we're all 50 states and six Canadian provinces, so you will not lack in places to ride. We have trophies for the most sites visited. Each year there's a theme. For instance, one year there was a theme of uh, Doughboys, so whoever visited the most Doughboy statues. Um, we had one for lighthouses, so each year there's something different. There are many components to this ride. Now it begins on April 1st of each year and ends in November. So you have uh, seven months to visit the seven sites. Um, it's not only um, educational, but it's also inspirational when you visit these memorials. Um, originally, I was one of the original state sponsors. I was the first state sponsor um, of Texas. After a few years of that, I became the state sponsor of Nevada and New Mexico. So the sponsors picked the locations, um, but are not eligible to compete for the uh, first to finish trophy. Although, however, um, when I gave up my Texas sponsorship, I competed and I completed the uh, Texas Tour of Honor a little over 1,100 miles in 25 hours. Um, but again, you're not expected to, to do that level of writing. You make it however you want. So um, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below and uh, share this video. And I'll take you uh, over to my shop and show you some of um, my motorcycling accomplishments. This is my uh, motorcycle me wall in my shop, just outside my bathroom here. And these are all the uh, Tour of Honors that I've participated in. I'm missing um, my 2020 flag, but uh, 2019 was the COVID year. So these are some of my um, Iron Butt Association 
accomplishments and some of the competitions I competed in. It's the Bun Burner Gold. That's riding 1,500 miles in 24 hours. That's the Bun Burner. That's 1,500 miles in 36 hours. That's the basic Saddle Sore 1,000 ride, 20,000 miles in 24 hours. And this is the uh, 50cc Quest, riding coast to coast in under 50 hours. And um, I did that in 48 hours and 40 minutes. Oh, I forgot to mention, you also get a shirt and there are different styles of shirts you can get. There's also a store and um, the Tour of Honor has its own app available at the App Store for Android and um, iOS phones. So if you ride, sign up. It's a great way to see your state or other states, a way to support veterans and first responders and a great experience. Appreciate you stopping by and Thanks for watching.